Engaged Lessons for the 21st Century. Reading and Comprehension, Adapting to Survive, Video 10. This is an engaged video created by Willoughby Eastlake Schools. How to use the video lesson. There are four steps and or four options. Option number one, video and questions on screen. Complete video engaged. If you are presently using a smart board, please remember to save this video first and then open it up with smart video player. Step two, option two, video and print out only the comprehensive questions that are provided. The video will play the story and the students will write on the comprehensive questions. Step three, option three, simply print out the handout only and provide a handout for each student in your class. Step four, option four, simply use the smart board lesson that is provided only. Living things adapt to their environment so they can survive. An organism adapts when it becomes a behavior that makes it more likely to survive. It can also adapt by forming a physical characteristic or body part that helps it survive. In a forest biome, some trees grow taller than the other plants around them. This lets them reach the sunlight. Growing taller is an adaption that helps trees survive. Shorter plants have adapted with their behavior. They have learned to live in the shade with less sunlight. Animals in the forest have a wide variety of adaptions. Monkeys have long tails. They can use them almost like another hand. This helps them swing quickly through the tops of the trees. They can even do this while holding their babies or gathering food. Giraffes need to reach leaves at the tops of tall trees. Having a long neck is an adaption that allows them to do this. Some animals' adaptions prevent other animals from wanting to eat them. A skunk's horrible smell makes larger animals choose something else to eat. Even plants sometimes protect themselves in this way. Roses and aqua trees b both have dangerous thorns. The thorns prevent animals from eating their leaves. Teachers, if you would, please have a student come up to the smart board for the very first series of questions. Thank you. Page 1. Answer the following questions based on the reading passage. Don't forget to go back to the passage whenever necessary to find or confirm your answers. Question 1. What are the two main ways that an organism adapts? Question 2. What is one animal's adaption you've read about in the passage? Please pick up a pen to answer these two questions. Here's what we have as an answer. Number one, what are the two main ways that an organism adapts? By changing its behavior or its physical characteristics. Illustrated up here in the top paragraph. Question two, what is one animal's adaption you read about in the passage? A monkey's tail or a giraffe's neck or a skunk's smell? as illustrated in this paragraph. If your answers matched ours, that is truly wonderful. That's great. If you would please, have another student come up to the smart board and while they're coming up here, if you would please pick up an eraser and erase your answers. Thank you. Page two. Please do not pick up a pen if you're asked to do so. Answer the following questions based on the reading passage. Don't forget to go back to the passage whenever necessary 
to find or confirm your answer. Question 3. What is the animal adaption you chose, a physical or behavioral adaption? Question 4. What is one plant adaption you read about in the passage? If you would, please pick up a pen to solve these two questions. Please do that now. Here's the answers we have. In number three, is the animal adaption you chose a physical or behavioral ad adaption? Student's choice. When you read the passage, you determine which animal you're thinking of, and is it physical or behavioral? Question four. What is one plant adaption you read about in the passage? Down here at the bottom, you probably read that, and at the top, trees are physical. They're either taller and they reach into the sun, or they're short and they have behavioral uh, features and they also have thorns. If your answers matched ours, that is fantastic. If you would please, have another student come up to the smart board for the last question, and while they're doing that, if you would please pick up an eraser and erase your answers. Thank you. Page 3. Please do not pick up a pen if you're asked to do so. Answer the following questions based on the reading passage. Don't forget to go back to the passage whenever necessary to find or confirm your answer. Question 5. Is the plant adaption you chose a physical or behavioral adaption? If you would, please pick up a pen and write your answer here. Please do that now. Okay, question five. Is the plant adaption you chose a physical or behavioral adaption? Student's choice, which means simply this, you could have chosen any plant that you would like and wrote, wrote it down here, and you determine, is it physical or behavioral? We would like to thank you for working with us today on reading and comprehension. And if you would, please pick up an eraser and erase your answers. Thank you.